Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is solving this rational equation using our TI-84 plus calculator. All right, so what we're going to do is basically take each side of each of the equation, and we're going to graph those and then take the intersection, and that will give us the solution to, or solutions to this equation. Now we can also use the table feature as well. I'll show you that. So let's start by typing these in. So I have to use um, parentheses to separate the numerator down there. So y1 equals parentheses x, and I'm pushing the variable button, squared minus 20, close parentheses divided by, open parentheses, variable button x squared minus 7x plus 12, close parentheses, so that's our first curve, and then we're going to type this in, so 3 divided by, parentheses, uh, x minus 3, close parentheses, plus 5 divided by parentheses x minus 4, close parentheses. We're going to graph those. So our first line looks like that. Alright, so there's an intersection here and an intersection there. So you second calc, and we're going to select intersect. Uh, we're already kind of towards this one, so first curve, enter, second curve, enter, and then I guess somewhere over there. All right, so x equals 1. That's what we're after we're after the x's. Alright, let's get to that one. So second calc, intersect, get close to that first. So I'm going to click over. There we are right there. There's my little spider. Get close to that part where they're looks like they're intersecting so first curve enter second curve enter uh, I think I'm close x equals 7 I can also do this on the table feature so second table notice I have these in here already and if I go to one, see how they're the same? That's what we're after. We're after them being equal both sides. So they're equal there, x equals one. See if they're getting close to each other, and they are. See how they get kind of, this one's going down, this one's going down, it goes a little up and then down, but you see at 7, they're equal to one another. That's it. If you have any questions, you can email me, jdmathguy at gmail.com, but also please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.